Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 6 subject science. In that chapter number 5 and chapter name is separation of substance. In the previous two videos we have seen part 1 and part 2. In the part 2 video we have completed up to main 7. Today we will see to start from main 8. Give two points of differences. It carries two marks each. Number one, sieving and hand picking. Point one in a sieving. This method is used to separate the components that have different sizes. And hand picking. This method is used to separate components that are same in size but different in appearance. Now see the point two. Devices with mass are used in this method. Example strainer and sieve. And in the here hand picking, no device is used in this method. It is done by hands. It is done by hands. So its name is the hand picking. Now see the next page. See the number two, evaporation and condensation. Point one in evaporation, the process of conversion of water into its vapor is called evaporation and condensation the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid from its liquid form is called condensation. The process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form is called condensation. Now see the second point in evaporation. Evaporation is responsible for the conversion of seawater into clouds. And here in condensation, condensation is responsible for the conversion of clouds to water again. Now see main 9. Match the following. Write the alphabet from section B in the answer. It carries two marks. Section A and section B. First of all we will see section A. Number 1 hand picking. Number 2 filtration. Number 3 winnowing. Number 4 sieving. And here in section B. A winnower. B hand. C sieve. D filter paper. Now see hand picking. It's a hand match with the B hand. Filtration match with the D filter paper. Number 3 winnowing match with the A winnower. Number 4 sieving match with the C sieve. Now see the main 10 answer the following questions in details. It carries 4 marks each. Each question carry 4 marks. See the question number 1. How will you separate sand and water from their mixture? Answer is separation of sand and water from their mixture is done by the process of sedimentation and decantation. Is done by the process of sedimentation and decantation. See the figure. See here. Here it's one glass is there. In that water is there and here it's a sand. And here it's a beaker. Here water is there. See, this glass is here, in that glass and sand is here. Now, see the process. Allow the mixture to stand in a glass for some time. By this way, allow the mixture to stand in a glass for some time till the sand settles down. Here the sand settles down at the bottom. This process is called sedimentation. And slightly tilt the glass without disturbing the water and gently pour this water in the another glass. This process is called decantation. Water and sand are separate now. Now see the question number 2. How would you obtain clear water from a sample of muddy water? Answer is clear water from a Sample of muddy water is obtained by sedimentation, decantation and filtration. Now see the figure. See, in the uh, above questions, we have seen that much is the same. Glass, water, sand. Here also process is same. And the filtration. See, here the stand is there. Filter paper is there. Funnel is there. And triangles, triangles say funnel is there. Here it's a vessel. And here, see here, it's a beaker. This beaker is here. This beaker is, okay. 
okay and here it's a one vessel is done and then due to the filter paper this it's filter it it then clear water we get then we get the clear water now see the answer pour the muddy water in a glass let it stand for half an hour for half an hour the mud will settle at the bottom of the glass this process is known as the sedimentation slightly tilt the glass without disturbing the water let the water from the top flow into another glass this process is called decantation and next point is filter the clean water to remove traces of mud particles this process is called the filtration the obtained water is almost clean now see the next page now see the activities is there number 1 to understand the winnowing method of separation here apparatus and materials are dry sand sawdust powdered dry leaves plate etc procedure make a mixture of dry sand with sawdust and powder dry leaves here the winnowing fan lighter particles and grains are there keep these mixtures on a plate take this mixture to an open ground and stand on a raised platform hold the plate containingly containing the mixture at your shoulder height this way this way shoulder height when wind comes tilt it slightly and let the mixture slide out slightly observe what happens observation is that sand falls in a heap near the platform and sawdust and dry leaf powder is carried away by wind and fall far away conclusion is that light particles are separated from heavier particles by the method of winnowing now see number 2 to remove the impurities from wheat floor by sieving apparatus and materials wheat floor bowl sieve chalk powder dish procedure is there put some wheat floor in a bowl place the sieve upon the dish and lightly pour the floor from the bowl in a dish sieve the floor to separate any impurities in it observe what remains in the sieve after sieving make a fine powder of chalk pieces and mix it with the floor observation is there the impurities like husks remain in the sieve on sieving whereas floor particles pass through the holes when chalk powder is mixed with the floor and sieved both chalk powder and floor were passed through its observation and conclusion is the particles of floor are smaller in size as compared to holes of sieve whereas the husks particles are larger and hence they remain in the sieve chalk powder and floor powder almost same and they can so they cannot be separated now see the next page now see the number 3 to obtain salt from salt solution by using this method of evaporation apparatus and materials beaker water salt tripod wire gauze and bunsen burner see the what is the tripod and bunsen burner here it's a beaker salt solution it's a wire gauze here it's a tripod and here it's a burner procedure take some water in a beaker and heat it bring the water to a boil and keep it keep on heating it till the water turns into steam and disappears completely procedure is see that when all the water evaporates nothing is left behind in the beaker add two spoons of salt to the to water in another beaker and stir it well the salt solution appears clear heat the beaker containing the salt water and let the water boil away observation is a white colored component is left in the beaker this white component is salt and conclusion is that salt can be obtained from a salt solution by the process of evaporation see the number 4 to prepare a saturated salt solution in that apparatus and materials are beaker water salt and spoon procedure is pour half a cup of water in the beaker add 1 teaspoon of this spoonful of salt and stir it well until the salt dissolves completely again add a teaspoon teaspoonful of salt and stir well continue the above process till some salt remains undissolved and settles at the bottom of the beaker filter the solutions of the beaker this solution is known as the saturated solution 
here your chapter is completed and we will see the next chapter with a new video in the next video stay safe stay healthy okay bye